So one of your legacies um, as Attorney General has been criminal justice reform. You've used the Department of Justice to look into local police departments, investigated uh, examples of discriminatory policing, uh, systemic racism. You've mandated reforms. Your likely successor, Senator Jeff Sessions, uh, has characterized such interventions as an abuse of federal authority. I know you don't want to prejudge the president-elect or uh, Senator Sessions, um, but what do you say to the general argument by conservatives that police oversight and reform would be better left to local officials rather than to people in Washington? What I would say to anyone focused on police reform is to look at what works. Look at what's been successful over not just this administration, but several years. One of the things that I've seen since my first time in the department in the 90s to now has been the collaborative working relationship between the Department of Justice and so many police departments across this country. We do have a very strong practice of, of enforcing constitutional policing through court-enforced decrees when situations call for that. But we also have a strong tradition and practice that's been very, very strong in this administration of police departments coming to us and saying, you know, I'm not sure if my excessive force uh, issues are being resolved in the right way. I'm not sure if my use of force policies are really current. I'm concerned that my city could be headed toward Baltimore or Ferguson. And we provide technical assistance, we provide training, we provide equipment, we work on issues of officer safety. So what I would say to anyone looking at police reform today is look at the history of the efforts the department has made over the course of several administrations and look at what works. Because what we're doing has been proven to be very effective. We have community groups who have been able to rekindle and reconnect with their police departments. We have police departments who are, who are out in the community learning the residents. I've talked to young officers who say, you know, this is why I became a police officer, to get to know people and to help people. And it was the Department of Justice and the, and the information and training we provided that have given them a bridge to do that. So keep an open mind. You'll keep an open mind and look at what works. We spend a lot of time looking at evidence-based um, projects here now because we do have a body of work that, as I said, spans a generation of departments at this point in time. So we can see what's an effective reform tool. The consultants that we use, most of them are former police executives, um, have a great deal of experience and judgment. We've seen so many communities now literally fall apart when an incident occurs and there's no there's no context, there's no bridge, there's no way to have meaningful and important discussions that communities need. Our focus has been on empowering local communities and empowering local law enforcement to work together.